Good morning, Eagles. Welcome to Blue Eagle News for Week Connect, where we get you prepped and ready for the week ahead. I'm Sophie Torrance. And I'm Sarah Carlson. Today's Monday, December 12th, and there's a lot going on this week, so pay attention. Candy cane grams are back. Send someone a personalized message for only $1. Place your order during lunch waves through a class officer, SCO, or Ms. Rajan by Monday, December 19th. Deliveries will take place before break. Students from the primary project will be selling items during lunch waves this week to raise scholarship money for Project Choice students. Purchase a sticker, tote bag, shirt, or hat to help the cause. This Wednesday marks 10 years since the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre. Survivors of the shooting are currently high school students, just like us. Isa Houlihan took a moment to ask teachers what has changed since the massacre, which took place on December 14, 2012. Isa? This is Isabel Houlihan from Blue Eagle News doing a segment on school safety and Sandy Hook. The anniversary of Sandy Hook is coming up. This is what our students and staff have to say about it. How has Sandy Hook changed your perspective of being a teacher? It makes, it's, makes school a little scarier because you know the possibilities out there, but it's also an incredibly rare possibility. Something where it's a sad reality that whenever I'm in a new space, as a teacher, as a human being, I'm always looking at what my exit points are. I'm always looking at what my points of danger could be. And it's a sad reality of our world right now, and I think something has to be addressed. I'm just not sure in what direction we should go. I think the school does a really good job at keeping us safe. We have Officer Knapp on hand. We practice lockdown drill, and we have a good like relationship with our teachers, so if we have any questions, we can always ask and make sure we feel the most safe as possible we can in school. The blood drive is Wednesday. All donors should be receiving your pass to the drive today during WeConnect. If you did not receive one, see Ms. Coca in room 23 to get one. You will need a pass to get out of class. Donors, please remember to bring a form of ID and hydrate yourself for a smooth donation. Two lunch and learns are this week. Wednesday, students can hear about entrepreneurship and solar energy. Thursday's Lunch and Learn is about photography. Scan the QR code on the TVs or see Mr. Danaher in room 215 if you'd like to attend. The next Feminist Club meeting will be on Thursday, December 15th at 7.15 a.m. in room 336. Email Mia Gugliotti or Veronica McKenna with any questions. All are welcome. The band and orchestra concert is Thursday the 15th at 6.30 in the auditorium. Don't miss out. It's the last week to donate to either the toy drive or the supply drive for the Connecticut Humane Society. Boxes are clearly marked around the school. Bring your donations in by Friday to make a child's day or to send some love to a furry friend. The National Honor Society meets this afternoon at 2.20 in room 110. Check the classroom for details. And remember, all meetings are mandatory. Planning ahead for next week, the Student Council is holding Holiday Spirit Week, which begins Monday, December 19th. Start the week off with homey holiday and wear your coziest PJs, cozy socks, or holiday hats. Tuesday will be holiday color wars. Seniors should wear red, juniors wear green, sophomores wear blue, freshmen wear white, teachers should wear the color of their WeConnect class, and staff can wear any of the five colors. On Wednesday, it's Where's Waldo. Dress like him so we can find you. Wear your ugly Christmas sweater on Thursday and end the week with a Weathersfield Winter Wonderland by showing your Eagle pride in blue, white, or Eagles gear. Raffle tickets will be provided each day to students and staff for gift card prizes. That's all for today. Have a great week, Eagles.